one of the things we've been looking at are new production techniques or production techniques that reduce costs. Today we're going to take a look at <coughs> the production of sun standing hybrid impatience, especially in a smaller container such as a six pack. The sun standing genetics have great colors and great vigor and perform exceptionally well in the landscape. Traditionally, we've produced cuttings at farms for New Guinea impatience as a stage zero cutting. A stage zero cutting is a cutting that is vegetative at the time it's harvested. That cutting works exceptionally well for a New Guinea impatient or even a uh, sun standing impatient when grown in a larger pot. The problem is, is when we take that stage zero cutting and put it in a smaller container, try to produce that plant in a smaller container, the vigor we have associated with the sun standing results in the plant easily overgrowing the space allotted to it. Some strategies we have to try and produce that plant in this container is one is we stick the cutting if it was stage zero and then use a lot of growth regulator or water stress to try and control the plant size. The risk of this is that when we ship the cutting to the consumer, they transplant it into the garden and it fails to grow properly. Second strategy, which tends to get away from that, is we take the cutting, we stick it in a liner, and we grow it for five to six weeks. And at the end of that time period, we transplant it into the, uh, into the pack. That takes time, effort, and expertise to reliably produce a small liner using a combination of low nutrition and growth regulators before transplant. Perhaps a better strategy, and we think a better strategy, is what we're referring to here as a quick turn cutting. And a quick turn cutting is a cutting that is harvested from the stock plant at the same stage of development that you transplant that liner. Basically, we shift that liner time to the stock farm, and when we take the cutting, we harvest a cutting that has a flower bud just visible at the time of harvest. That cutting then can be stuck into the tray and it roots and the plant grows and fills the area in synchrony with flower development. So we wind up with plants sizing appropriately and coming into flower in five to maximum seven weeks depending upon the temperature they're growing. The plants that we see here have been <coughs> direct stuck, no growth regulator has been applied, they're just over seven weeks from stick. They were ready to ship a week ago and so we are looking here at plants that are six to seven weeks from stick ready to go to market uniformly in flower and produced with minimal effort and reduced cost compared to either the growth regulation in time, direct sticking, or running the plant through the liner. Mm -hmm.